Hi, welcome to Fusion 360 video tutorial. Now the planes or reference elements in Fusion 360 very similar to Inventor, but one difference there is no sort of uh, intuitive way to do it. You always have to first select the correct kind of plane you want to do and then you can do it. So let's have fun with Fusion 360. As usual, the most basic one is an offset plane. So that will be the default. If you just click on that symbol, you will get an offset plane. See, you can't select those lines. So you go for a plane and you can define an offset. Very simple, just usual stuff. And I will delete this one. Now you could go for uh, plane at an angle. Therefore you would need some sort of axis or line to rotate around. So go for a line, axis or even a line and then you could make just an angle. You don't need a reference plane, slightly different in all the programs, but you could go for an angle for example 60 degrees. Again very simple. I'll delete this one as well. Next one would be a tangent plane, therefore I would need a surface or face, so I will leave that. A mid plane, mid plane, you can select one plane, another plane, and you will get a bisecting plane. And usually, let's see, yeah, there it is, but it seems to be very, very small. Okay, but it, there it is. So let's delete this one as well. Next one, a plane through two edges, simple one edge, second edge. You shouldn't go for edges of solids, you should always use lines or axes. And again, very simple to do. Delete that one. Next, a plane through three points, so just select one point maybe this point and the third point and you will get a plane through those three points. I cancel this out and we got a plane tangent to face at point and we have plane along path so let's select a curve and a point. And that's not possible so it should, should just select the path and then you have here a distance on the curve, so if you go for a zero, it goes to the beginning, and if you go for one, it will be at the end. If you go for, for 0 0.5, it will jump to the middle of that curve. Again, very simple. And those tangent ones, again, you just need a surface, a point and then it will do in that point a tangent plane to the surface. And there aren't any other possibilities to do planes right here. So I'm done. Hope you enjoyed this really short one. If you liked it, give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. I want to get more subscrib subscri subscribers sorry, and likes over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you the next one. Bye-bye.